Welcome back. Are oh, we gonna do something a little bit different? Starting a new series. Yeah. Here the bikes. Yes. Sexiness. Gonna be putting this sucker on there soon. Next video, probably. Yeah. Oh, got something in this box. You'll have to see. Probably video after the next. Stay tuned. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll do this one for. Uh, maybe this or that. I don't know. We will see. Dude, it's been raining, raining cats and doggies. Cats and doggies, man. I'm going insane. It needs to stop raining. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, we're gonna talk about the S1000 double R. The S1000 double R. Yeah, I see, I wanna, I wanna do, I wanna do the track days, man. I wanna do it. I've been so busy. So busy, man. Okay, yes, yes, let's, let's do it. Let's do it, let's get into it, come on, let's go. Yeah, what? Well, this light will just have to work out. What is up, Joes? How y'all doing? Welcome back to another video. Welcome to Industry Fails, where we talk about how the motorcycle industry, in some cases, fail at what they're doing. So I think you probably have heard about the 2019 S1000 R. Oh my God. I can't believe that they actually came out with this as the final product. When they came out with the prototype, I was like, ugh, not the greatest, but I'm thinking in my head, you know, maybe it's just a gimmick, you know? <clears throat> maybe it's just to kind of get everybody all riled up, got me riled up, sure did, but then I come to see that they're rolling with this design. Now, when they did the promo video, they did a great job with the video. Great job. But the problem is, is that they created the S1000 RR, I believe it was in, oh man. Don't shoot me. I think it was 2008, 2010, something like that. First RR came out with this iconic design with the lights that were asymmetric and it was really good and then the second generation of that they made it even better they did a couple of little tweaks so when they came out with this i feel like they're just trying to be like everybody else but you want to get a bike that's unique I think that most people want to be unique. There goes my light. Dang it. The fact that they're kind of going towards, I, man, I found this picture of a Ducati. It was a, it's a 2008, I forgot the name of it, but I'll put a picture right up here. It looks just like the new S1000 RR 2019. That is like 10 years ago, man, 10 years ago. And it looks almost just like that old Ducati. And I kind of see what they're trying to do. They're trying to, you know, get that little that little LED light thing going, but in my opinion, Ducati, they have done it the best. That little LED thing, they've done it the best. Of course, I feel like they copied Yamaha with their little LED thing, but whatever. Or the second generation design. That's when they really got the design really good. They got the, the tail section where it comes out, you know, you, you see the sculpture of the bike where you kind of see like the muscles of the bike, 
this new design, they've gotten rid of all of those muscles. You look at it side by side, you've got the second generation double R, and then you've got the third generation double R. And granted, the specs on this bike are amazing, amazing. It's, it's lighter, it's got more horsepower, 207 horsepower and I believe 430 pounds wet, which is amazing. But then you look at it and you're like, it got fat. <laughs> the muscles are gone and it got fat. The second generation, the design is on point. All they needed to do is take that design and you know do that little LED thing you know make the lights look really mean with like a, a line in there somewhere something like that oh my goodness man I'm just I was really hoping that there was like some kind of conspiracy where these designs were fake but I saw the video today and I was like dang they did a good job on the video but the bike is ugly the bike is ugly. <laughs> I mean, it probably grow on me after time. I'm like, oh, dude. But hey, good news is second gen S1000RRs are probably gonna drop on price and you can get one probably for a really good deal once these things roll out. So yeah, and I guess the, the way that I feel that they're going with this design is to be more, I guess their design language more towards what their cars look like. And I guess that's a, a way to go, but man, you had such a great thing going with the double R of the second generation. You even had the little, little lip in the, in the front you know, that was, it was nice, man. It was nice. You know what I'm saying? It was nice. Uh, but yeah, it, I mean, it, it's kind of going towards the look of like an M3. I mean, the, the lights, you know, it's, it's all the same and they're kind of square and yeah. But you know what it really reminds me of these lights? Oh God. These lights look like you know those aftermarket like halogen led whatever lights that you get that look so horrible i mean yeah it's kind of it's kind of cool and gimmicky and everything but it's a bmw it's a bmw you pay a lot of money for this you're not trying to get something gimmicky you want something that is bad -ass. you want something that nobody else has Dude, you look at this, it looks like every other bike out there now. There's no asymmetry. That was like one of the only bikes out there that had asymmetry lights, come on. It looked cool, man. It looked cool, but hey, I know that companies need to change and everything, and I'm all for change. But at least think about it when you do it, okay? I don't think they were thinking I don't know. I don't know if they're thinking. Uh, but hey, BMW, if you're watching this video, definitely, yeah, you could just give me one of those. One of those new bikes, you know. Maybe you can convince me that my opinion is wrong and the bike is awesome and that it's the best thing since sliced bread. So yeah, you know, you know, I'm uh, I'm in Woodbridge, Virginia. So you know, you just drop that thing off, and uh, I'll test it out for you. Yeah, good job. Let's do that. Call me, okay? So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope I didn't bore you. Probably, but hey, come back next time, and maybe I will entertain you. Don't forget to subscribe like a boss and if you want to see more of my videos, definitely click that little bell thing, the notifications. And until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Deuces!
<laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah, my hair is doing weird stuff. Weird stuff. But it's okay because I'm just talking to myself. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you guys. Yes, I am. I'm going crazy. That's what winter does to you. Don't let it do it to you, okay? I swear I will do more videos. I'm just trying to get used to the routine here. Oh, and now my battery's dying, so.